Good morning, happy Friday. Oh my gosh, we made it to Friday. That was a crazy week. Well, we're still not done. Today we have a big planning day and we're going to WeWork and I'm really excited because I've never been to the WeWork in Calgary. So it is nine right now. We are starting our meeting at 10, but I'm going to give myself plenty of time to get downtown to find parking because I've been running late all week and I hate being late. So we're not gonna be late today. So I've gotten ready. I'm still healing my pimple and so I literally have polysporin on it right now and I'm going to add makeup once I get to my destination. So that's annoying, but it is what it is. And yeah, today I've got quite a bit of work to do. I have one really important launch that we're launching for a client this afternoon. And we've got our four or five hour like planning day and then it'll be my weekend, which it was a fun week, but I am excited for some rest. So let's get going. Let's go warm up the car because it is still minus 20 out. Cuties. Oh my gosh, I'm so relieved that this busy work week is over. So it was honestly a really good day. It was really fun. We had a really great strategy planning session. We went to lunch at Cactus Club and then I came back to the office to say goodbye to McKenna and then also say goodbye to Vern and Manny because they're flying out right now. It's 4 35. I'm gonna drive home. I have a couple things I need to finish up work-wise and then I'll be on my weekend which feels so good. Again, it was a great week. It was just incredibly busy. So it's gonna be nice to have some downtime. The only plans I have this weekend are we're having Max family over for dinner tomorrow night for his dad's birthday. And this is actually the first time that any of his family is coming over to see our place. And we've been living there for like over three years now. So it's gonna be really nice to have them over. And then on Sunday, I'm doing a FaceTime with my best friend Steph who has been living in Germany with her boyfriend for the past couple months and I haven't had a proper catch up with her in a while so that should be really nice. And those are the only plans that I have and I'm gonna keep it that way. I just need to take care of myself this weekend. So yeah, gonna head home now and almost, almost start the weekend. In like an hour I'll be on my weekend. Back in the car again, happy Saturday. So. This morning, I am just popping over to the grocery store to get some stuff to prepare for having Max family over for dinner tonight. So thankfully, his brother is making the entree. He's making beef wellington, delicious. And his mom is bringing over sides and also a dessert, I think. So all we are in charge of is appetizers and drinks. So I'm gonna do appetizers and Mac is gonna deal with drinks he's gonna do like the alcohol and then I'm gonna pick up some non-alcoholic stuff from the grocery store but it's 9 54 and already this morning I actually ordered our groceries for the week from Superstore so that's coming tomorrow so I feel good about that and then I'm just gonna drive over to Safeway and get some stuff for appetizers and some drinks I would have walked but I'm gonna get probably some sparkling waters and like I don't want to carry that it's only like a maybe seven minute walk to the grocery store, but again, I just don't want to carry that. So I'm gonna head over there. And Mac is doing some cleaning. When I get back, I'll do some cleaning too. So kind of just like prepping for that. They're coming over at four, which is early, <laughs> but I'm excited and I'm trying not to stress too much. It is the first time that they're coming over. So typical me would stress a lot, but there's nothing to be stressed about. Like we have it all under control and planned and I just want to try and try and in it try and enjoy myself so yeah gonna head over to the store now and I might also get gas because I only have like a quarter tank and I don't want it to be that low when it's this cold out so I might do that as well if I have it in me okay let's go to the store I left our name 
hidden in the sand I didn't know that they would wash away so fast and that no a little lunch situation I have some avocado and then I have some toast with some chili oil in the oven and then I made two eggs and I'm gonna do some greedy mustard as well and it's gonna be so good I also have my veggie platter already here and also my stuffed dates that I'm just waiting for my bacon to thaw so I can make them <laughs> Okay, so we've been cleaning and cooking and I'm honestly really tired. It is 1.12 and I could totally have a nap, but I've been wanting to go to the gym and get some movement in for a couple days now. So I'm gonna do that and hopefully that energizes me. And yeah, that should be kind of it. I'll just go to the gym and then when I come back, I'll cook my bacon wrapped stuffed dates and then set the table and then it'll be time for them to come over so yeah i don't know why i'm so tired it's probably just from the busy week but it's really hitting me even though i had a coffee at home and a starbucks coffee <laughs> minutes so hopefully we are ready did my table and it's giving Easter which is definitely not the look I was going for but it's just all that I had so it will have to do got our wine glasses set up here everything else is clean and the bacon wrapped dates with goat cheese look good they just came out of the oven so I'm gonna wait till they cool a little bit and then I'm gonna do the balsamic glaze so we're feeling good also have our beverages stocked. I wish that my fridge looked like this all the time. Good morning, a little grocery delivery to start us off this morning. So I got some, what is this, ground chicken? Yeah, ground chicken. For my lunches this week, I'm gonna do roasted spaghetti squash and sauce and ground chicken and some cheese I thought that might might be like a nice switch up and then I got some romaine lettuce and cilantro and jalapenos I'm gonna make this jalapeno hamburger salad from define dish cookbook 
for dinner one week. And I also got some garlic toast to have with that because I just didn't think it was gonna be like enough. And then I didn't mean to get this big of a thing of milk, but I needed some milk for this chicken pot pie pasta recipe, again from the Define Dish cookbook that I'm gonna make. Tomatoes, we're just gonna make it with like orzo and sausage. Avocado is for the salad. So is the lemon, that's for my lunches. I forget exactly what this, this, and this is for, but you know, something. And then cheese for my lunches, beef for Max lunch, and then also beef for the hamburger salad, chicken for the chicken pot pie salad. These were on sale, so I got two. I'll put one in the freezer and we'll have one this week. Um, for the chicken pot pie pasta, for the sausage and orzo, and then frozen peas for the chicken pot pie. So yeah, that's kind of it. I didn't make, or I didn't plan for that many dinners because I have, Mac and I both have some dinner plans this week. So just a little haul for this Sunday morning. There's no better feeling than opening up, opening up a brand new scrub daddy. Oh. Hi cuties. So it is like 10 a.m just been chilling and I'm about to FaceTime or I guess in like an hour I'm gonna FaceTime Steph and then after that I think I'm gonna FaceTime my mom I'm like way overdue for some catch-ups I'm very overdue with Steph it's been months and then I'm a couple of weeks overdue with my mom so that should be really nice to chat with them and then I'm going to do some cooking today do some meal prep I'm gonna prep my lunches and maybe get a couple of dinners ready for the week and just like have some chill time. I really feel like I need some chill alone time. So that should be really nice. I have the space to do that. And what else can I tell you? Last night was really great. It was a great success. It was like, I was nervous that I was gonna be all like uptight, but once his family got here and everyone was like settled, it was fine. Like I just like relaxed and was able to have a good time and they stayed until maybe like 9.30. They did come over at like 4.30, but it wasn't very late. So that was great. Afterwards, Mac and I just like cleaned up and then watched TV. And yeah, it was just, it was just nice. And I'm happy that we kind of broke the seal of having them over because now next time they come over, I won't be as nervous, you know, like it'll just be great. And I do want to have more people over. I need to get some more like hosting stuff and stuff for the table because I did not like my table last night. It would have been perfect if it was Easter, but it was not Easter. So I need to get a couple more things next time we host, but all in good time. What else can I tell you? Yeah, I'm already just kind of planning this week. It's turning out to be busier <laughs> than expected. I am taking Friday off because Mac and I are going to Banff for our five year anniversary, which I cannot believe. So it'll be a four day week, so it shall be busy, but it will be great, I'm sure. I just want to make sure that I prepare as best I can so that it goes smoothly and that, you know, we keep this up because this week was a much better week than the year started. So I feel like we're on the up and up. I hope that you enjoyed this vlog. I think I am going to end it here because I just feel like I need some chill time where I'm not filming anything. I just need to fully unplug and relax. So I hope that you enjoyed, you know, coming with me for a little bit of the work day on Friday. That was really fun. And then prepping for the dinner party. Again, I'd love to do more hosting like that and showing y'all what I'm like cooking and doing. Last night was a bit different because I didn't cook the meal. I did the appetizers, but I didn't cook the meal. But I do love doing that, like cooking the whole thing. But I just need to work my way up to that. So hopefully more dinner party hosting vlogs in the future. But if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you. If you are subscribed, please like this video and also give me a comment. I'd love to chat with you and I'll catch you in some work week vlogs for the week coming up. Okay, bye.